that reactions release energy? Light. Um, again, hydrogen peroxide decomposes, creates oxygen. Oxygen gets absorbed by all kinds of things and makes other reactions happen. So copper we saw is green in a flame and is blue in solution. To make your own glow stick. It's so pervy. Hey, what is this again? A glow stick. Or what did you put in it? So uh, it's, it's a mixture. It's two solutions that he's mixing together. When they mix, they react. So we have um, hydrogen peroxide in one, and it's a, I mean, really, really dilute. Oh, it's dilute. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really dilute, dilute solution of hydrogen peroxide, and then um, a solution that has copper ions, which is where the blue comes from. Um, the glowing comes from um, luminol, which is what makes things glow in the dark. Um, also, a little bit of ammonium carbonate and another carbonate, I don't remember what, like six other Sodium things. Carbonate, Sodium know. carbonate. It has like 40 ingredients. It's really a pain in the butt to make. But it goes bad fast. Yeah, so you have to make it like on the end. The fun one is filling up. So this is stuff I made for my Halloween show that I do at school and uh, made a little extra so piece can have it for This is a good way to use it up because I can't keep it for long. Still a lot more. Oh, he's there? Yeah. Maybe I'll make it. Okay. Can you use it for anything else? I can always, yeah, buzz it if I'm just blowing up there. Oh, whatever. Here it was. Can they do the air chart? Do they get to make it? Yeah. That was nice. I did not think it was like the last one. That's awesome. You were just there to do the uh, closing notes. Yeah. So when you buy a glow stick, like you have to snap it, and it's because it has the two solutions in it, and when you crack it, you break a little piece of glass or plastic in between the two, and it allows the solutions to mix. So usually I'd like have to shake it to stir it. Until you get this.